Okay, so uh, in three dimensions, the coordinates of the vertex of z versus x parabola are 0, 1, and 2, because here it is. It's above the line for y equals 1. It's above the y-axis where x equals 0, and it's two units above, as we can see from this picture. So the coordinates of the vertex of the z versus x parabola that we've drawn, this parabola, put into the context of our three-dimensional space. Coordinates are 0, x is 0, 1, y is 1, 2, z is 2. Now, we also note that if we evaluate f of 0, 1, we get 0 squared plus 2 times 1 squared, which is 2. Okay, well, holding y equal to 0, or x equal to 0, letting y equal to 1, that's how we got our first graph, our green graph. Um, so the 2 that we get here is just our z coordinate here. Um, so letting z equal f of x, y, we can write this as x, y, z, of course, because this is the x, the y, and the z coordinate, where z is f evaluated at x and y. f evaluated at the x and y coordinates gives us the z coordinate. Okay. Now, we note that this point is also on the z equals 2y squared, x equals 0 graph. Okay? The one we drew first, where we can find x to be 0, got the z equals 2y squared graph, and plotted here um, in the yz plane. Okay? So, this means that the two graphs intersect at this point. Now what we want to do is we want to calculate the partial derivatives of f and y and see what it tells us about this picture. So uh, the partial derivatives are easy to calculate. Um, remember, we hold y constant. To, to do the partial of f with respect to x, we hold y constant and take the derivative with respect to x. And we get just 2x because if y is constant, remember that, just write it down lightly, f of x, y, equals x squared plus 2y squared. If y is constant, then this is constant and it's derivative of 0. And then partial with respect to y means we hold x constant for all the reasons we talked about last time. And take the derivative with respect to y, we get 4y. Okay? Now what does that tell us about this picture? 